Garden Automation Update. One thing that I didn't like about the Arduino was that it, whenever I wanted to make changes, I had to flash the card uh, upstairs in, on my computer and turn off the system and then turn on the Arduino whenever I wanted to make a change. This device is called an ESP32. It's a lot like an Arduino, except that it can connect to the internet. You find it on your, on your router, and then you connect it to the software that you're using. And in this case, I'm using a software called Home Assistant. Within Home Assistant, you can add and integrate all of your IoT devices. In this case, I have uh, all, all of my relays in here. And I'm connected to this relay via the ESP32. And I also have these Wi-Fi plugs, which uh, I use less often. What I like about this relay is that you can consolidate eight plugs, which would normally be that big, and you'd have to have also have eight power supplies. You can consolidate it into a smaller package. So here I have a power supply, some bus bars. There's like eight inputs there, and then there's eight um, different uh, interruptions, you know, eight, eight different switches for eight different solenoids. So with one power supply and one relay, I can um, control eight solenoids, which is kind of nice, just because it, it's, it takes up less space. So Home Assistant is running on a private server. It's software in an operating system. I use a Raspberry Pi to run the Home Assistant instance and it's connected to my router via this ethernet cable. I then get into Home Assistant uh, by through the browser on my computer. Home Assistant also connects into the cloud uh, so I can I can get into these uh, into this instance with an app as well on my phone so I can I can control my my devices and automations remotely. So I'm gonna be mounting all of this gear onto a sheet of plywood and just uh, sort of routing all of the tubes that I have that go in and out of my garden um, and just sort of consolidating everything and so it's more organized. It took me a really long time to get this set up. Uh, it was hard to configure but I think it's a really big, powerful upgrade um, to my whole system, and I'm super excited.